Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I gave in to the DS Autumn Sale one last time here. I snagged the Gazelle, and um, this is my first impressions. On one hand, uh, I was really excited to get this, and on the other hand, I'm kind of disappointed. And I'll show you why. So, in terms of content, I, I tend to like modules that give you a lot to do, you know? And after having all the modules that I have, you're kind of used to getting certain things in instant action. So, you know, if I go to the Huey, I got a Nevada free flight in Nevada, I've got a free flight in the Harbor Tour, and, you know, four or five missions. That's standard, right? I can go to Normandy, I get nothing. I go to Persian Golf, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever missions. So, that's pretty cool for the UH-1. Um, if I go to the KA-50, there's a free flight, shooting range, you know, the, the standard fare. There's only four for the Nevada, I can deal with that. Normandy, there's actually four as well. Persian Golf, they give you five. I think that's fair and that should be, but standard. So, let's go to the SA-342. This is the uh, Gazelle. Persian Golf, nothing. Normandy, nothing. Nevada, cold start, static trucks, improve your piloting skill. This is just a boring mission with a bunch of hoops. And when you um, fly outside of the hoop range or go too high, the mission throws you out. So, it's kind of stupid. Uh, this... The default map, static tanks, moving trucks, static trucks, static trucks, improve your piloting skill. Really not much, kind of disappointing. Under mission, under just mission, you got one mission. Granted, this mission's kind of neat. I haven't flown it yet, but I jumped into it for a second and jumped out, and it, it's a mission that is basically a single mission made for all four of the helicopters in DCS World. So if you happen to own the Huey, you can jump into the Huey and fly this mission. Uh, you can jump into the KA-50 or the MI-8 on the Russian side and fly this mission. Or if you got the Gazelle, you can fly this mission. But it's a single mission. We go to UH-1. At least they give you four. KA-50, a whole shit ton. Training. So, this is where I was surprised. One, two, three, four, five, what, six missions for the default map, and they actually give you something in Nevada. So, that was kind of fair. And then under campaign, they do give you a campaign, which, you know, that's pretty cool. You didn't get a campaign with a Spitfire, that was kind of a bummer. But, fair enough. But, in the overall scheme of things, that's pretty shitty in terms of content. There, there really isn't much in here. So, let's take a look at the variants. There's actually four variants of this helicopter. So, got this guy. So, the Mistral. This is the um, air-to-air -air only variant, I guess. So if you jump into this guy, alrighty, let's take the Mistral, fly, let me hit my uh, master arm, let me go down here and turn on the power, flick these up. Goes back down. Um, hit my pilot sight. Now I've got the beeping going on. Now this is the air to air version. This thing really wants to torque hard to the left, so there's a lot of right pedal going on in this. So, in terms of flying this thing, I think it flies pretty cool. I think it feels like a helicopter. It's believable. I've seen people say that, you know, the flight model in this isn't right or something. 
Um, the thing that got me excited to buy this was, number one, I've always wanted a small attack helicopter. I like the Kiowa Warrior, and supposedly these guys are doing a Kiowa Warrior. I remember flying that in Jane's and the Black Hawk and the Apache. Fun stuff. Um, so I like something that's little and maneuverable and that has weapons that you can fire. So, having said that, let me zoom in here. Now I got toned. There's four helicopters over there on the pad waiting to take off. Boom, one down. Let's see here. Uh oh. There we go. So it's very effective at air to air. If you want a helicopter to fight other helicopters or to shoot some air targets with, then this probably is a decent option. And this thing is rather effective. That one, I think, missed its target. That's funny. Why did it say one of them blowed up and then the other ones didn't? They haven't taken off yet. So anyways, I'm not going to waste too much more time on this. This is the air-to-air -air version, basically. I'm going to fire another one for the hell of it. So what I want to do, which is really hard and has, for me has been next to impossible so far, is get this thing to a hover, then I can hit the auto hover, and then I can engage weapons from this co-pilot seat over here. Nice model, too. these guys over here are going to start blasting me pretty soon. There's a whole bunch of tanks over there that like to shoot at people. And this is my mission that I created, which is my air-to-ground proving grounds that let me test doing air-to-ground stuff. And there should be one left. Let's take him out, too. Funsies. Now I need to get out of here before those guys start shooting at me. But, again... The problem I have is getting this thing to a hover, so I can then hit auto hover, and then I can just jump over into this other seat here by hitting the two key or my, you know, HOTAS setup, basically. But it's not that easy. Choose slot. Let's go to the minigun. So this one, basically, my understanding of it, and just looking at it, You've got nothing over here. In this other seat, there's nothing there. It's just a co-pilot. All that stuff that was there for utilizing weapon systems and stuff just isn't there. And now, well, let me go back here first. I'm going to hit my uh, master arm. And we're going to go over to three. So three... It's a minigun. Which is pretty cool. So that's an interesting uh, variant, I guess. But I don't really see the super duper use for that other than what? You need to go in and uh, maybe help out clearing an LZ and you're picking up maybe one person to fit in this other seat over here. So, not so sure about the whole purpose behind that. Let's go back to the mission editor. I'll switch this Mistral for the M. And then we'll go over here. And the M, as I recall, is just the Hot 3 version. And the Hot 3 seems to be the air-to-ground missile. And it seems like 6 and 5 are only reserved for this IR shield and this sand filter because that's pretty much all you can ever do. And then in terms of missiles, I don't even know 
there's really no difference. I mean, these are all the same. I don't know why you would just go with two instead of four ever, but take this, go back, and then we'll go to this guy, and we'll switch him from minigun to the L version. And the L version is the rocket version. So what I don't get is you can't put nothing on one. You've only got rockets. Rockets is the only option. Can't put nothing there. Can't put nothing there. It's this sand filter and this IR deflector. And the IR deflector, I guess, helps to defuse your radar signature, I guess. So there isn't a version of this that has guns that the pilot or the co-pilot can fire. Kind of bummed about that. Didn't realize that before I bought it, but whatever. Let's save the mission. We'll fly the mission. And I'll go with the, let's see, we'll go with the L first. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't fired rockets yet. So how do I do that? I've not done that yet. So I'm guessing it's this, 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 shut that down, shut that down. Uh, this, or do I have some kind of guns? I swear I saw a video. Oh, I do have a gun. Okay. Rockets is one side, guns is the other. That's what it is. So the L version has the mix of rockets and guns, but no air-to-air -air or air-to-ground missiles other than unguided rockets. Fair enough. I like that. And I think the trick was you... This way is guns. And then if I flick this guy up and go down and then do that... That's my rockets. So basically, switching this one around a little bit is the only way to do that. So I'm going to go rockets. If it'll go. Uh, sometimes using the mouse in VR is a pain in the ass, and I don't understand why. There we go. Okay, that's all set up. And then the, the biggest problem I've had with this so far is I can't get this thing into a hover. So there's this dial right here, and it changes some of the stuff that's on this. So if I do this and I go all the way to DOF mode, I got these crosshairs. And if you put these, if you make that a cross and you have zero speed, you should be able to hit the auto hover. I haven't been able to do that. And it's like... It's, it's equivalent to me of rubbing your head and patting your belly because it's just, you know, a ballet of chaos that I can't seem to get just right. Uh, maybe I'll get it eventually. I don't know. But it is very frustrating, and I really can't figure out how to do it. And I've been sitting here for... Let me turn these labels off. About two hours today messing around with this, and uh, I just haven't got very far with it. I can't get this to line up you know to make that a plus sign right there so basically what I'm trying to do is get these to all line up into a nice plus and then get my airspeed over here to zero as well and then be able to hit you know auto hover so then I can jump over to this seat and I can manipulate these weapons it's just not working out for me So this guy's got rockets, which is cool. I don't know what that is. Probably our guy. And I probably completely missed him. He's probably right behind the smoke. Yeah, he is. Oh, it was a bush. <laughs> I'm trying to kill bushes over here. What is that, another bush too? So you can shoot rockets, which is rather nice. And I'm just killing bushes, because why not? And these guys up here are just going to start shooting and kick my ass, so I need to create another little 
zone of soft targets to practice with which I will for helicopters. This is my, you know, air to ground thing for playing with the Vigan with the high drag bombs and uh, rockets on the Vigan and dropping Mark 42s and cluster bombs in the F-16. It's a nice little area. And then there's the gun. Again, the model looks really nice. Looks like this is going to be fun once I can figure it out. And then last but not least, let's go to the other guy. Oh, fly. Which I believe is the M version. And that's the one I've spent the most time with this afternoon. Losing my freaking mind. Because... It looks so, so fun to be able to do this, so... Master arm, turn this thing over so this thing plays nice. Turn on the RWR. Oh, that's off. I don't even know why I'm, I'm not going to bother turning on the chaff. For some reason, in my rift, to be able to put my head all the way down sometimes kills the tracking and makes it go haywire. So, that's that. And see how this is a completely different cluster of stuff now in this one versus the other ones so then I'm going to jump into this seat real quick and we're going to get this thing set up so we got VCB power VCB is this display so we go VCB power and then VCB IR power and then this somehow or another controls which way the camera's facing I'm going to turn on the display and then a, C, V, whatever that is, and then A, S, S, S. So whenever it goes to A, S, S, that turns it on. And then I go one back. So now I have a TDC control. But before I do that, let me go over here, and we're going to take this uh, lasing button cover up, the missile launch button cover up. And now, if I want to, I can hit laze and see how I have extra data now. For 915 and there's another button that is uh, slave so it slaves the chopper in the direction so see how this number is zero 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 if it wasn't zero 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 and it was like 10 or 20 I'd hit this button and it would basically under autopilot or auto hover I think point my nose towards the target more until I got to zero 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 and then I should be able to... Oh no, I missed a step. I gotta go down here. Until that's green to Jewel or Jewel. And then go over here to my pylons. And start with one. And now I have two green lights down there. And now I should be able... And then on top of that, there's this little white square I guess in that bottom right corner of the circle that's telling me I'm able to fire and then boom fire so I got this down what I don't have down is being able to fly this goddamn thing and be able to uh, get it to a, a hover a regular hover because you must achieve a regular hover before you can make it auto hover which I get that but <sighs> It's, it's just insanely hard to do. I don't think I'm a terrible pilot. Watch me wreck now that I've said that. Um, but just getting these things to line up properly right here all at once, man, just seems like some skill that uh, I'm lacking at the moment. And the funny thing is, when I first started this up and was fooling around with it, I achieved an auto hover like in no time flat. I hit the button and it just leveled out and everything was playing nice. I could take my feet off the pedals even. Unbelievable, you know? Turn these labels off. Oh, there it goes. But the best I can do well, watch me get it now. See, now I'm kind of going backwards, though. 
Let's slide that over a little. Come on, give me the plus sign and give me zero speed. That's all I want. Yeah, it's still not going to do it. I have auto hover set up here on a button on my Hotos for the paddle switch. I just can't get these fucking things to line up. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I can jump over here, and the nice thing is now I do have the ability to slew this around just like a TDC and anything else. And uh, I could zoom in, I can zoom out, I can laze. So it'll be nice once I can finally get this thing to auto hover. But that is the problem, isn't it? And this thing inherently wants to torque really hard to the left, no matter what you do. And then whenever I have been able to achieve a hover, um, I end up shooting up in the air too much. You know what I mean? End up freaking two to three thousand feet when I want to be like a hundred to two hundred feet off the ground, so I can line up with this stuff and you know pick a target off. So there is that, and and that is the challenges that are facing me at the moment with this thing. Um, I think I have it at the you know how to use the weapons and whatnot. I just can't get the goddamn thing to hover to use the weapons. That seems to be the biggest challenge right now. It just does not want to settle down, man. Just when I think I have it, you know? And you can fly it from either seat. It's like right about there, I was at zero. It's just getting them bars to line up, man. It's like, what is the trick, guys? What am I missing? Why is this, like, next to impossible to do? Yeah, I'm hitting it. I'm trying to get that to line up. I'm, my speed's too fast. I can't just pitch my nose forward and bleed speed off easily, too. That's the other thing. It's like, it looks like I'm at a hover, but I'm not, because I'm holding the rudders. If I let go of the rudder pedal right now, boom, I'm going to spin. So it is what it is, guys. Uh, that is the Gazelle, and that's what it offers. Um, like I said, my frustration with it and my disappointment with it isn't solely the fact that I can't fly the thing right or get it to hover, because I think I can fly it well. Uh, I don't have a problem flying it. I can even land it. Uh, I just can't get it to auto hover. I've even figured out the weapon systems, you know? So that's where I'm at with it, guys. Um, I'm hopeful I'll figure it out here soon. It is only $24.99 at the moment. Uh, the 